Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining this Data Spider Savista webinar. In this session, I'd like to introduce Data Spider Savista. Here is the agenda. I'll explain to you the overview and features of Data Spider Savista. First, let me talk about the solutions that Health Series provides to our customers. Health products are developed as data management solutions rather than being offered as individual products. We want to contribute to the world by providing a platform that allows customers to use data more freely and make decisive actions. Here's a list of products and services that make up our data management solutions. Today, I present to you our data integration solution, Data Spider Savista. Let me share with you the overview. First, let us think about the current situation regarding today's corporate IT systems. Generally, daily tasks are different across divisions, and each division uses systems and applications which are appropriate to their tasks. However, considering a better use of the data, it is essential to have a system which collects, integrates, and utilizes data across different systems. Until now, the IT division in each company have developed their own data integration interfaces for integrating the data among their various systems, which tend to be very complicated as the process flow looks like a mesh. An EAI tool such as Data Spider is used to solve this kind of data integration problems. Let me share with you the concepts of Data Spider Savista, which is different from other similar tools. Data Spider has been developed based on a concept of transforming data integration from create to connect. If you need to integrate your data with a new system, we focus on designing a way to connect the data instead of the conventional way of creating an interface for data integration. Data Spider has three features which enables this. The first feature is that you can develop an integration process without programming. Data Spider uses a GUI for creating an integration process flow, so you can easily configure data input, output, conversion, and process with a mouse. With this, building a data integration process can be done even by a person who is not a skilled programmer. The second feature is that it has full functions covering development to operations. After creating an integration processing, execution can be automatically done. Operation tools are equipped by default, such as log management, which is needed for managing integration processing. The third feature is that it can integrate with a large diversity of external sources. Data Spider currently supports more than 80 systems to connect with. In recognition of Data Spider Savista's unique features and functions, we are ranked as the number one data integration software in the overall customer satisfaction in a survey conducted by Nikkei BP Consulting. Also, we have been ranked as number one for six consecutive years. Furthermore, as of the end of August 2019, Data Spider Savista has over 3,000 customers. As shown in the graph, Various companies, regardless of industry, are using our products. Let me introduce the four use cases as examples of Data Spider Savista utilization. Use case one, data integration hub between systems. This use case explains how to utilize Data Spider as a data integration hub. The left diagram shows the system configuration prior to installing Data Spider which requires program development and manual data input for integrating the data among each system. The right diagram shows the system configuration after installing Data Spider, which connects each system and Data Spider. The advantage of using Data Spider is that the development time can be shortened and cost can be reduced. Let's think about a case of updating the sales management system only. Before Data Spider is installed, several working processes are needed, such as investigating which programs require integration, modification, and testing. All these require huge development man hours and cost. On the other hand, 
With DataSpider installed, all you need to do is just modify the connecting parts between the sales management system and DataSpider, which leads to a shortened development time and cost reduction. Use Case 2 – Operation Automation This use case explains how to automate the manual tasks, which are mainly file operation. Even with various available tools to manage data, it is still common to use Excel for data management and collection. The left diagram is the operation flow prior to installing DataSpider. Previously, the Excel data sent from each cell site is manually registered to the database by the staff in the head office. However, this has the risk of human error when entering the data. Now, look at the right diagram. With DataSpider installed, after each cell site sends emails with Excel files attached, DataSpider automatically detects the emails, after which DataSpider automatically performs all the operations, including reading the data in the attached Excel file, registering the data into the database, and even sending an email notification upon completion. Use case 3. Data Migration This use case explains how DataSpider Servista can be used when migrating systems. In general, system migration is done step by step while keeping some of the systems in operation. In this case, some processes are required only during migration such as merging the data processing the old systems into new systems. The left diagram shows the needed actions to take prior to installing DataSpider. Since it is not wise to spend development man hours on short period processing, you may need to manually operate the systems during the processing. The right diagram shows the business flow with DataSpider. DataSpider allows you to create the integration process easily so you can develop a migration program without spending labor cost. Use Case 4 – Cloud Integration DataSpider has a wide range of adapters which connect to various cloud services. If you want to switch to using cloud services from your own scratch-developed systems while retaining mission-critical systems on-premise, you can create the integration process easily just like the integration between on-premises. That's all for the use cases of DataSpider. Next, let me share with you the features of DataSpider. Here is the conceptual diagram of DataSpider Servista. Features provided by DataSpider are shown within the arrange box. Firstly, handling various input and output data from different resources. You can handle the data via adapters without being concerned with the specifications of each resource. DataSpider provides dedicated adapters for each different resource. For example, when processing data integration from a database to a text file, you will read the data via database adapter and write the data via an adapter connecting to the text file. Within the adapter, you can read and write the data by using the drivers and the API publicly available from the resource provider. So, you don't need to take any special actions such as setting up or installing tools for each connecting resource. Also, DataSpider allows you to process the data as well as integrate the captured data as is. This function is called Converter, which consists of conversion, integration, partitioning, and replacement. DataSpider Studio is a user interface and integration development environment for you to set up data integration and conversion. Here's a list of adapters by DataSpider. DataSpider provides an industry-leading number of supported dedicated adapters for different products. Should there be a system you are using that is not within the list of dedicated adapters, a generic adapter is available. For database systems, if the connecting point supports JDBC driver, you can use our JDBC adapter. For network systems, if the connection point supports REST API, then you can also use our REST adapter for data writing and reading. This is a screenshot of the DataSpider user interface called DataSpider Studio. 
The three icons shown in the center describe the processes for reading the input data from the resource via an adapter, converting the data via a converter, and integrating the data into the different resource via an adapter. Each icon is connected with an arrow. This series of process flow is called a script. Although this is just a simple process, you can also create a complicated integration process by adding conditional branch processing or error monitoring processing. You can set up the details of data conversion in the converter icon, which I would explain in the next slide. When you click the converter icon, you will see this screen, which defines the data conversion. You can set up a conversion definition of data and format by GUI. In the case of a one-to-one -one data conversion, you can pass the data by connecting the input data column in the left frame and the output data column in the right frame. By deploying the specific icon for the required function, you can convert and process the data. Each conversion process is iconized for every function. We have prepared approximately 140 types of icons as of now, including arithmetic operations, date conversion, and full width, half width conversion. Same as this conversion, you can easily create a multiple data integration process. For example, you can merge the data between different resources such as Excel and database. The advantage of being able to create the process by GUI is that you don't require any programming skill for developing an integration process. Both of the two screens here show the process of receiving auto files with fixed length, comparing against the product master, storing them in the SQL server if it is in the master, and sending an email when all processes are complete. DataSpider allows you to set up this process by using only 13 icons. All you have to do is drag and drop the iconized processes, connecting with lines, and creating a flow. On the other hand, if you were to write a code of this process with Java, you would require more than 14,000 lines of code, as shown in the right diagram. You may think that I'm exaggerating, but I'm not at all there could be such a big difference. For example, if done with programming, you may need to decide to check the existence of a file, data, or the way the data is being processed in case of abnormality. With Data Spider, you can set up these in the properties of the icons. The development productivity could be greatly improved as many processes that used to be developed by programming now can be set up just by deploying icons. As the utilization of data becomes widespread, you will need to process larger amounts of data. DataSpider has a feature for rapid processing of large amounts of data, which is called parallel streaming. It partitions the large amount of data automatically and processes each block in parallel. In this way, data throughput can be shortened. Also, the input data is stored in the memory by unit of block so you can process large amounts of data without worrying about the free space in the memory. You can control the execution time of the created integration process. This is called trigger. You can flexibly set up the execution schedule, such as specific time of every day, every 10 minutes, or only when the database is updated. It is also possible to set up an action from outside as a trigger. For example, setting up Data Spider to be launched when a specific URL is clicked, and processing will start when a file is created or when an operation monitoring tool such as JP1 is integrated with. In addition, as a useful function when developing, we provide a framework for you to conduct a test. This function helps you build a structure of writing, executing, and verifying the test of script. By using this function, you can assure the reliability of the outcome, such as using the test result as evidence, as well as confirming various test patterns. This function also has the effect of reducing your development labor cost. Please refer to the datasheet for details of this feature. Lastly, 
I'd like to explain the specification document output feature. Our customers greatly appreciate this feature. It allows you to output integration process you created as an HTML style specification file. This specification includes all of the designer's screenshots and setup records. You can also output a version comparison report, which allows you to easily figure out the difference between two versions. This feature can be utilized in various cases such as confirming the setup details after development is done, handing over to the operation personnel, or checking for additional development. The last part of this session is of real case studies. We interviewed many of our customers and understood their challenges and the benefits of installing our products. These are shared on our website, so please visit our website to learn more. That's all for today. Thank you so much for joining us.